Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus uh, 2D. This is tutorial number 14, Importing Soil Stratigraphy from AutoCAD to Plexus uh, 2D. If you remember in all uh, previous uh, tutorials, we drew the soil layers in Plexus uh, 2D itself. So, in uh, some uh, situations, when we have a complex soil uh, stratigraphy and uh, geometry, so maybe it is more easy to draw the soil uh, layers in AutoCAD and after that we can import to Plexus uh, 2D as a soil polygon and we will only assign uh, the materials to these uh, soil polygons. So uh, this uh, soil stratigraphy from uh, previous examples, if you remember, and we will uh, draw these examples in AutoCAD and each uh, soil uh, layers should be drawn using a single polygon uh, and a closed polygon. And after that we will uh, convert uh, this uh, DWG uh, file from we will uh, this uh, this is the example we uh, have drawn in AutoCAD uh, so we will uh, convert uh, this uh, DWG uh, AutoCAD files to DXF and after that we will import to uh, Plexus uh, 2D uh, we, we also have to be careful about uh, the units uh, so uh, the units of AutoCAD should be the same as uh, Plexus uh, units uh, for example, in this example, uh, we will use uh, units as a meter. Uh, so uh, the units of uh, plexus also is a meter. If your uh, AutoCAD uh, units are not in meter, you can uh, just uh, type units. And uh, here you can change uh, the units to meters. Okay. So after uh, that, we have to save uh, this DWG as a... Uh, DXF, we click on save as, as other formats and in here we select a DXF and uh, it says enter a decimal places accuracy we just uh, put uh, one and uh, this is uh, the uh, place which I want to save uh, the DXF file I click OK enter and uh, right now I have uh, this uh, DXF files in uh, my uh, uh, browser so I open uh, the Plexus and uh, I have already uh, opened the Plexus and uh, this is uh, the title of the Plexus file and we used uh, the same uh, contours as a previous example so uh, we should click on soil and we have to click on import soil and uh, select import soil from here and we will uh, select this dxf file and open and uh, as you can see in here uh, the scale is one is okay and we have uh, these options uh, three options and the first one it is uh, minimum of imported model boundaries so the bottom uh, the first bottom of the model will be uh, at the origin uh, point of uh, plexus coordinates or if we select uh, this one uh, the top uh, corner of the model will be the at uh, zero zero coordinates in plexus and uh, this one will be uh, an original uh, source so so in here also we moved uh, the whole model uh, bottom to the zero zero so you uh, you can you also it's not important uh, to move uh, this point to uh, zero zero uh, because in plexus you can select uh, this one and also we have to uh, check this uh, box import closed polygons to uh, uh, import uh, closed uh, polylines to as a polygon so these are uh, polylines and when we check uh, this box uh, these uh, polylines converted to a polygon and we click OK so as you can see in here we have uh, three soil layers 
So uh, right now we can assign, uh, define uh, any materials uh, and assign to these uh, uh, polygons. For example, if I click on show material, and uh, in here as you can see we don't have we don't uh, we have not defined any uh, materials now we can import uh, the materials from other uh, examples uh, and i uh, i think i explained uh, how to uh, import uh, an existing or predefined materials from other project to a new project so for example we can just uh, like uh, this one For example, if I and for example, we can uh, assign this tip clay to here and maybe clay soil to here. And as you can see, it is uh, more uh, simple and time saving when we. Uh, especially when we have a complex soil uh, stratigraphy so right now also we can uh, draw any uh, structures in here uh, or we can also uh, draw the structure for example retaining walls in AutoCAD we can uh, import the structure also import uh, geometry also we have uh, in the in that case we have to be uh, careful about the coordinates in the plaque uh, in the AutoCAD so uh, this was uh, for uh, this example i hope it was uh, clear and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson